Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test rigor video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about how we can automate and real-time application. For example, a flight ticket reservation. For example, a flight booking in cleartrip.com. So you can see that this cleartrip.com is quite famous in terms of booking flights domestically and internationally in India. So I'm going to take this website and I'm going to show you how we can book a flight ticket without writing even a single line of code, but rather we are going to use test trigger to perform a very, very super simple manual test case steps to automate this whole process that we are seeing over here. So let's get into this and start working with it. So first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new test case. I'm going to call this as clear trip and I'm going to use this particular website. So probably I'm just going to uh, copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste it over here and I don't have username and password. I don't want to generate anything automatically. So I'm just going to leave zero and then I'm going to create a new test case. That's it. That's the only thing that I'm going to be doing over here. And then I'm going to start adding the custom test cases over here. So let's take this test cases side by side and then I'm going to start writing the manual test cases. So that is the power of the test rigor itself. You can actually write the manual test case and test rigor will do all the automation for you behind the scene using the artificial intelligence and the machine learning. So the first thing I'm going to do as an user is going to be, as you can see, while I was recording this particular createtrip.com, I was clicking the flights link over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say flight uh, booking. And the first thing as a user I'm going to do is I'm going to click the flights link. So probably click flights, right? That's what I'm going to be doing. And once I click the flights, uh, you can see that I have the from and to. Uh, the from is like, let's say I'm going to choose from uh, MAA for Chennai or something like that. So instead of typing everything, probably if I type Chennai over here, you can see that this brings up this one. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm just going to say enter Chennai in from field. That's what I'm going to be doing, right? So that's what I'm telling here. And then I'm going to choose probably Mumbai. Yeah, that's looking good. So uh, enter Mumbai in to field. So you can see that this is super manual, right? Like this is the normal thing that you do. But as you can see, you also did one more operation here. Once you type Chennai, you also need to tell test rigor that, hey, click this thing. If not, it's not going to be selected, right? So you need to tell this however. So in order for that, I'm actually going to be doing pretty much like the same text over here, like I'm seeing it. So I'm just going to say copy and I'm going to say click this one, right? So that's going to be something which I need to click. And once I also enter uh, Mumbai there, then I also need the text of Mumbai. So probably I'm going to inspect the element and I'm going to copy this particular text and I'm going to be uh, clicking that particular thing over here. All right, that's cool. So once I enter that, that's it. Um, I choose the flights over there. Let's close this inspector uh, and let's keep this thing side by side. All right. And I need to choose the depart on. And this is something very, very common problem that we used to face while doing the automation because we need to select a date from the date picker and most of the automation testing tool fails or even they try selecting it. There will not be an absolute locator, like pretty readable locator. So in order to do that in test rigor, it is going to be very, very fascinating. All we're going to do is I'm just going to say click button, which is nothing but this button. I wanted to click this button, which is below so this is a new way that we can do in the test rigor so this is something new which i wanted to show you on test rigor which is nothing but the reference locators so you can see that this referencing locations will help you to actually reference a particular element based on indexes or type or even uh, the location where it is or even referencing a particular control with other controls like that. So you can see here, so we are referencing, check that Peter color is this, will search these things. You can see like nested text, placeholders, values, uh, data, TED, data test ID, ID. Similarly, a lot of things over here and then generic indexes, types. And this is the one which I'm trying to do like buttons. So I'm just going to be referencing using the button, but you can do a whole lot of things for referencing a particular element. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Click bit button below the depart on, which is nothing but this calendar button. And once I click that, 
I also need to click probably so once you click that this guy uh, let's say I want to select uh, probably what is that October 31st something like that so how do I say this October 31st should I put like October 2021 31st like that no actually you all need to do is you just have to specify this October 31 that's it so this is the way that you actually select a particular date in the calendar over here and once you select that you also can select the drop downs you can see over here so like adults children's and infants and you can see that these controls are select controls and because these are select controls you can actually specify the text in the manual test case something like this select let's say four from adults like that and also select uh, three from uh, children's or children and then you select uh, one from infant probably you can see that this is super manual test case and all these magics are going to happen by the test trigger and then once i do all these things i need to click the search flights so i'm just going to do that that's it this is what i'm wanting to do and i don't want to verify if that's going to be the case like whether it is going to search things or not i'm not going to do any assertions yet but let's try to add this and run it and let's see what is going to basically happen so you will see that our test is currently in the queue and it is starting to run now and hopefully everything is done you can see that we are in that search page itself over here so let's see what it has entered for us so you can see that it has performed all the operations of selections over there so let's try to make this thing bigger and you can see that our test case aligns so we have chosen uh, chennai which is maa and to uh, mumbai and then 31st of october that's what we specified in our uh, test case if you just remember october 31st so it is selected over here i mean i selected like four adults three children's and one infant if i'm not wrong and then we click the flight search and that's the reason you can see that the flight search happened uh, and also it showed the another page uh, over here for us which is the search page so now we can do some validations if we wanted to for example if i want to validate if there is any flight on that particular date but looks like there is no flight on that particular duration and you can see on sunday october 31st with eight travelers there is no such uh, matching criteria which is crazy but but yeah i think this is how you could actually perform a very very super simple test case writing in test rigor using just the manual test something like this and it does all the magics for you behind the scene using test triggers artificial intelligence and machine learning once again thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day